I grew up eating pepper relish. We would put it on everything. My family's from North Carolina. Um, our family goes back to pre-revolutionary days in one county in North Carolina. My great-grandmother moved into Chapel Hill when my grandfather came into town and lived on a street called Cottage Lane. My family has grown peppers on the land for a, a long time and made their own pepper relish. When I first started making the relish with my father, we were throwing around names of what we should call the company. And because all four generations that I'm aware of have cooked relish in the kitchen in our family home on Cottage Lane, there didn't seem to be a better name. So that's why we named our company Cottage Lane Kitchen. I believe my grandfather made the last batch um, that has been in our family around 1993, maybe. In December 2010, I went back um, to celebrate Christmas with my father and realized that the supply was dwindling. And so I decided to make it with my father. We made it with jalapenos and serranos. And my father would always instruct me a little bit of this, a pinch of that. Oh, that looks about right of that. While I was madly trying to weigh the, the ingredients to try to record this recipe. Um, because it had just been an oral tradition passed on in my family. I'd never thought about sharing it with other people, but when I started to do it, people would come to me and say, oh, this tastes like my grandmother's relish, or I knew my great aunt who made this, but we don't make it anymore, and it tastes exactly like it. It made me realize that some heirloom recipes are very special, and they need to be continued, and it connects not just your family, but other people to your family's product as well. Um, it's all fresh, natural ingredients. It's a very simple, clean um, recipe. There's nothing fancy about it. And I think it does remind people of home, of when their families used to make it, um, and goes back generations.